All right, guys, we are now at the bottom of the hour. It is 9.03 p.m. Eastern, uh, and we are, <laughs> right now, you are at our exclusive Empower Network Hangout from the Team Take Massive Action, and we are, <laughs> sorry, I'm like choking on my words here right now, but if you're listening to this, you are at the right time and at the right place. Um, my name is Emily Nguyen, and I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Right here, I have Mr. Alan Luck, who's all the way from Canada as well, in Toronto, Ontario. How's it going over there, Alan? Oh, doing fantastic over here. <laughs> Good. And I also have Andrew Shin, who's from Los Angeles, Los Angeles in the States. Uh, how's the weather going there? It's getting hotter and hotter. It was like over 80 degrees over here, so it's like pretty much summertime here. Ready to go to the, ready to go to the beaches. <laughs> awesome. And uh, next to me we have Mr. For Chris Hughes, who's our special guest tonight, who's all the way from Costa Rica, and who's going to be sharing his background, his story, and how he was able to come onto this online business world and travel um, all across the world as a, a dream lifestyle. So um, I guess you can drop a couple of words there, Chris. <laughs> How's it going? I know he just uh, thank mentioned you for it. having me. <laughs> thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Awesome. And we have Tam. Nice Tam to meet next everyone. <laughs> we yeah. have Tam next to me, who's uh, from Australia. Australia. Tam, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Loud and clear. Awesome. And uh, next to Tam, we have uh, the the awesome marketer. Tian Li, who's also from Australia. Yeah. So, um, hi. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Tian. That's okay. How's it going? Yeah, good. Getting colder here. So on the other side of the world, obviously, <laughs> it's getting colder where you guys are getting warmer. Yeah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so right now, what I whoever is watching right now, I need you guys to uh, focus and to. Put off all distraction, whether it's your Facebook, your Skype, your television, your cell phone, uh, and you know, just lock yourself in a room, might as well, and <laughs> close the front door because our special guest tonight, uh, Mr. For Chris, Mr. Christopher Hughes, uh, also known as Chris Hughes, is an awesome, awesome online internet marketer who was who came from uh, the nightclub scene and who went from bartending. I mean, who went from bounce, as a bounce, he who was a bouncer and went to bartending and now uh, living on the beaches of the world because he was able to utilize the internet uh, for his uh, business. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it on to Mr. Christopher Hughes so he can get a bit about his uh, story and uh, what's been working for him. Chris? Well, Em, thank you very much for the introduction, and thank you guys for actually listening and hearing my story. So I guess we'll go back to a uh, couple, let's see, when I graduated college, I went to school in uh, Buffalo, New York, and didn't really know what I wanted to do. So what happened was I started looking for online income, you know, like network marketing, MLM stuff, and eventually got into social media things and dabbled around in that for a couple of years, selling stuff to clients, and didn't really see too much success with it. And when I graduated college, didn't have any idea what I was going to do. So I packed up my car and drove to Florida, uh, moved there, lived there for two years straight, working like valet jobs, uh, different bartending things. Like I went from uh, my most recent, like last job I've had was uh, I went from a bouncer, so like checking IDs at a door at a nightclub in Universal Studios, <clears throat> and like I'm not a big dude for being a bouncer. Like I'm like five ten, like average size, and you know I went from that to bartending, and this was the whole time I bought Empower Networks products, just got everything, literally just went all in and submerged myself in the information, and did what it taught me to <laughs> like while I was bartending <clears throat> and ended up being able to 
moved to pretty much wherever I wanted. Like I went to Panama for two months, and then I spent a month. Like I went to the event in Austin, Texas. Went to Orlando, Florida. Went to New York, and then I went to the Philippines for two months. And now I'm down in Costa Rica, just kind of living right next to the beach, going surfing every day. And that's all. That's kind of like the switch happened when I actually started taking this seriously. Like, instead of just buying the information and letting it sit there, I actually went through it and submersed myself in learning and doing. And when I did that, it kind of, something switched in me, and things started to go on the up and up. So I guess that brings us to where I'm at now. And I don't know, I'm just very grateful for putting in the hard work. And like being able to see that when you do put in the hard work using the right information, the right system, it does pay off. I mean, it it's a lot of work, but it does pay off, which has allowed me to kind of design my dream life, which is just traveling places, uh, hopping on video once in a while, shooting a video, teaching things I'm learning. Uh, like if, if I hear something and it's interesting to me, I'll shoot a video, like I'll grab my iPhone or like a little like video camera I have, shoot a quick message, and it's been helping a lot more people than I realized. Like, I, I've noticed that the more I've done of these videos, the better I've been getting. Like, I, I, I actually have been watching some of my videos and not being appalled by it, which is a huge sign for me. But... I guess a lot of it was just the video stuff helped me out tremendously as well as uh, Facebook stuff that I want to talk strategy with you guys in a little bit, but that just kind of brings me up to where I'm at now. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. But um, how did you end up realizing, you know, from, become, from being a bartender to, you know, wanting to work uh, online? Like, how did you discover that, and what made you want to throw yourself onto that avenue? Hmm. That was, uh, I, I'm not good at, like, listening to people a lot of the time. Like, if somebody tells me to do something, and I see there might be a better way or a way that's easier or more effective, I want to do that instead of listening to people. Like, if I see something that I can, I feel I can improve on, I'll try to improve upon it. And with the nightclub scene, uh, I was kind of limited when I could, like, the impact I could have. And with online marketing, you basically, you can kind of see where you can improve and then focus on it and improve with it. So it's, um, but, sorry, Arthur, somebody brought food to the house. But, <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so it was just a decision that it frustrated me being stuck at a specific income level. Like bartending, you could have really good nights, and then you could have horrible nights. And I didn't like that. Like, I didn't like relying on other people for my income. Well, that, does that make sense? <laughs> like it just frustrated me? Yeah. Well, no, it's totally understandable that, you know, when you, you end up being frustrated with, you know, a certain... Um, aspect in your life, then you have to transition into something better, right? So, um, you were you mm -hmm. were, and you were able to find something um, that would help you to become a better version of yourself, and uh, through self development as well. Um, I don't know. Does anybody have any other questions here regarding um, Chris and his uh, his his story, his background, guys? Yep, I've Alan. got a question for him, Chris. Um, what advice would you yep. give to somebody new to the industry? So someone who's just uh, watched the presentation, thinking about doing it, what advice would you give to them? Um, take it seriously. Uh, instead of looking at it as a hobby, actually treat it like something that can make you... It, it can change your life. Like the information that you could learn can be life changing if you if you're ready to work for it. Like if you take massive action. Like that's that's why I love this team. It's 
it's encouraging people to do like something different, to take massive action on an, on something they learn and implement it. So when mm-hmm. when people who are just beginning, when they learn a new strategy, test it out. Like do whatever you can to test it out and try to make it work. And if you like doing that, keep doing it. If you don't, try something else. Like it's all just different forms of marketing. Yeah. Seeing what you click with. Cool. Thank you. But it can be overwhelming because there is a lot of information. Yeah. So definitely, guys, for those who are starting out, make sure that you do focus on one strategy at a time. See what works for you. And if you don't like it, if you, if you, if you don't see that it, it is, then you can go back on to another strategy like uh, Chris just uh, suggested here. Um, Tam, do you have any questions for Chris? Um, Tam, I think you're on mute. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> um, it's, it's awesome, you know, being a bouncer to a bartender to now living on the beaches of the world. I'm seeing you on this hangout with no shirts on, and I'm shivering <laughs> because it's so cold here in Australia. <laughs> um, I'm reading it's, uh, Chris. It's, it's... Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I, it's just hot here. Like, <laughs> it's just... It's easier not to wear a shirt. Like board shorts, pretty much all day is acceptable. I mean, I mean you're living in Costa Rica, right? I mean, the beach is right there. You'd want to just sort of um, be ready to jump into the, the beach in time, right? So I, I would probably be the same, you know. Uh, actually, I just want to say that I'm, I'm reading uh, Chris's um, about page on his uh, blog, and I'm, I'm, you know, it's I'm getting some amazing here, uh, you know. What stands out for me most is Chris wants to um, impact millions of people's lives, right? And that for me is like, wow, oh, you know, for somebody that, Chris, I don't know your, your age, but you seem pretty young. For somebody this young to have that kind of mentality, that's pretty awesome, man. And for those people who don't know, Chris was, um, I, I think he was top in top 300 uh, at the recent uh, Empower Network contest. Uh, before Chicago. So Chris has been crushing it on the leaderboard as well. Uh, one question I have for you, Chris, is, you know, uh, you also said in your bio that you spent, uh, I think um, you used to work for some lady doing some SEO work for eight hours a day. Can you tell us more about your SEO background? Uh, that was, when I was in college, I needed to make some kind of money, like outside of school, and what I did was I bought courses on SEO, just simple, like, local SEO strategies and using things like Google Places and YouTube to basically to drive traffic to an offline business and to her website to make more sales. And it was just this work, like, the same things over and over again, like commenting on related blog posts, creating content for her specific blog, and just some basic like link building strategies and it, it wouldn't always pay off like sometimes it works sometimes it wouldn't and then when Google introduces all these like the slaps like the penguin or all that it's it was it just got to be too difficult for me to keep up with and I was spending a lot of time learning it while I was testing it to see if anything was working and it was just kind of frustrating, not too rewarding for what I was doing at the time. It, it taught me a lot. Like I learned a lot about basic link building strategies and kind of building up your network. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty awesome to have you know some SEO background coming onto the internet and. and Build your own business. I think that's pretty awesome. Is it safe to say that you're you're are you are you more uh, an SEO an SEO free paid marketing guy or are you more of a paid marketing guy? Um, it's kind of a combination. Lately, I've been getting into paid advertising because I've been making money from the free stuff. But this is it's I've been doing this for a little while now, so I've built up. I did a lot of free stuff prior. 
uh, like YouTube marketing and even stuff on Facebook can pay off like very, very well because it's free. It's just time. If you have the time to do it, it's a good strategy. If you don't have the time to do it or just have money that you can spend on it, then paid advertising is the way to go. But I, I wasn't in a paid advertising spot when I first got started, so it was all about YouTube, Facebook, and trying to do Google manual stuff. Awesome, that's pretty awesome. Hey, I, I have more questions, but I, I might just um, pass the mic back to M very quickly so she can move on, and maybe I can you can come back to me later for some more questions. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go to Andrew. Andrew, if you have any questions about um, Chris and his background before he gets into his, uh, uh, some of his, sh before he shares his marketing strategies. So, yeah, so congratulations on living in the beach of the world, like in Costa Rica. Like, I also <laughs> want to live in the beaches of the world, and there are probably a lot of people who want to enjoy that freedom lifestyle. So now... Like you're living in Costa Rica, like what's your like daily routines? Like, do you, like how much do you spend on your online business, like right now? So do you, um lately, yeah. it, lately more than I was. Uh, when I, I spent two months in the Philippines, and I only worked about twenty hours total, and I, I didn't really enjoy that. Like I was on the beach a lot and just hanging out with friends. But I, I do enjoy what I do. Like, I do enjoy working. And now I have a pretty good schedule being here because it's, I can tell when the waves are going to be good. And I'm still a learning surfer, but when the waves are good for riding, you go out and ride. And then when you're not doing that, I can spend, like, three hours at a time just sitting there and working, like, figuring out a strategy and start implementing it for three hours and then kind of separate away from work for a little while again. So I usually do probably about six hours a day of as focused of attention as I can give it. Like sometimes I'll get on Facebook and just look at pictures and zone out. But <laughs> so when when you set like a specific time frame, you can kind of control it. And it's awesome. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah, guys, whoever's listening, make sure you do set up a specific time frame for your work so you get to focus on your income-producing activities, which is something we'll probably get onto another Hangout. But definitely, uh, like Chris mentioned, you have to be able to set a time frame for, uh, for your online business. Um, I'm going to pass it on to Alan now. Alan, do you have any questions for Mr. Chris Hughes? Yeah, definitely. Well, Chris, I'm just uh, very jealous of your 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 lifestyle. Uh, obviously, today is very cold today, so just seeing you going surfing, um, you know, and just enjoying life. I mean, that's something that we all strive for. Right? I mean, that's for the reason why we all want to build an online business, all about lifestyle, freedom, and doing whatever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. Right? So. Um, I myself, you know, also have some uh, similar experience like Chris. You know, I've been around for a little bit, uh, saw program come and go. Uh, so I guess the one question I want to ask Chris is, when do you start seeing, uh, I love seeing breakthroughs you know, in people. So I, when do you start seeing yourself in terms of breakthrough? You know, when you were, you came online, you know, you're doing, you know, maybe at the beginning strugglings, you know, joining programs at a program. So when do you start r realizing, uh, you know, that breakthrough, uh, you know, you start seeing a massive shift in your business. I mean, that's when, that's when you know that, you know, this is it and you just went up. Like when do you start realizing that breakthrough is happening? Um, the first time that it happened for me, like there, there's been a couple like little breakthroughs that I've had the past like couple months and maybe the last year and a half, two years. Uh, about seven, seven or eight months ago, like before I moved to Panama, I was bartending and I had an opportunity to move to Panama and uh, I was scared to do it. I didn't have a lot of money, but I knew I had learned the information from Power Network. Like I went through the product and knew what to do. I just hadn't been doing it because I was, you know, I, I was content with my bartending job. And my friend's like, dude, do you want to move to Panama? And I had 
like a couple hundred bucks, like two hundred dollars in my account. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like I might as well. So moved down there and started surrounding myself with people who were more successful than me. And uh, I got a mentor down there who really helped me out a lot. And he kind of he helped me structure something where I could build a sustainable business. And when I really, when I honestly got the mentor, like that's when a switch went off. Like I was like, oh, so this is a legitimate thing I could do full time. Like this is something that I don't have to just do, you know, during the day before I go to work, like or at night when I get home from work. It's like I can eliminate work and then just turn this into a full time income. So that was a little while ago. And then most recently I had another one when we were in Chicago. Like, uh, one of the women on my team, uh, she was there with me, and I saw her have a breakthrough, and we kind of talked our way through it, like, because I was trying to understand how to influence more people's lives, like, positively influencing people's lives is one of my life goals, and I saw her breakthrough, and when I saw that, I was like, okay, so all, all I need to do is help other people identify their breakthrough, and what's going to happen is that's going to help me identify further ones for me as well as it's going to be beneficial for other people. So kind of, that's the second one. I'll probably have another one when we go to Denver again. And, like, every other event seemed to trigger it for me. Mm, that's like, awesome. Uh, yeah, I think, Chris, I think you say something, three, some, uh, three things really profound. The first thing you said was uh, you found a mentor. Uh, that was actually, you know, I found myself a mentor last year. Uh, but not only that, I start plugging into the support system. I mean, you know, as a mentor, you all you want to do is learn from someone who's more successful than yourself, right? So people like on this hangout, leaders with, within you know the team. I mean, these are all people that you can learn from. So that's the first thing is you no know, finding a mentor, and the second thing is you went to events, right? Obviously, we know is that's part of the eight core commitment is going to event because event change your belief and seeing people actually making money, you know, shaking their hands, you know, raise your belief level substantially. And the third thing I see, you know, I saw you uh, talk about is uh, taking massive action, right? So um, definitely I think, I think you know, for a lot of new people, I mean, uh, these three things uh, will definitely get you from that, uh, you know, stuck mode into helping you break free. So, um, but definitely, you know, thanks for sharing that. Uh, so I'm just going to pass the mic back to him. Thank you, guys. Um, Alan, uh, yeah, I, you know, you're totally right. There's a mentor uh, events and uh, taking massive action. But there was something that uh, Chris also pointed out, which, uh, which you know, I think a lot of, uh, which is a, another key point as well. His goal is to positively influence other people. And um, the way he can do about that is by seeing uh, other people's breakthroughs. So, of course, in this in industry, it's all about helping other people, serving other people. So by seeing other people's breakthroughs, that's how you can help and serve better and uh, know how you can serve other people. So uh, thank you so much, Chris, for sharing uh, about your background and your, your breakthroughs and and all that had to do with uh, your past and answering the questions on everyone's pa on the panel here. Um, now you know. Uh, now we can start going into if you don't mind. Of course, we uh, mm. we've been uh, waiting for, uh, for the the your some whatever strategies that you are willing to share that's been working for you when you came onto this online business. Um, the 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 the. The, the mic is all yours, and uh, we'll let you run with uh, the Hangout now. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Let's see. Right now, one of my best strategies that, like, uh, you guys understand that you need to focus on income-producing activities. And when you find these income-producing activities, uh, just, just do them. Like, take the time to do them because they work. And one for me is Facebook fan pages are a huge, uh, sometimes untapped market if you can build them properly. And the way I've been doing it, I've, I've kind of like reverse engineered my ideal team members. 
and build pages around things that would be relevant to them. And with Facebook ads, you're allowed to do a lot of very specific targeting of people. So you can literally like map out your ideal team member, your ideal customer, your ideal client, and figure out their interests, their likes, their things they absolutely love, the things they completely despise, and create pages around that. And you can do something cool with the targeting of if someone already likes something, you can add that in a little ad and say, like, for instance, I have a I Love Country Music page, and I looked up a bunch of country musicians, and I created ads around those people. So it's, you love George Strait? It's like, that means you probably love country music. Click like if you love country music. And this is just a one kind of little niche test that I'm running for the business. I figure it would be fun to work with that group of people. And I'm starting to do this with other uh, specific types of people as well, gearing things towards uh, like fitness-related people, uh, people into health, people into personal development. And you can create pages designed to kind of provide value to people and also, uh, you know, you can put ads in your posts. So you can have a picture of something and it's just, it's ad copy. Getting someone to click on your link and go to your capture page and give you their email address. And then, you know, you follow up. So what you basically do is you build up fan pages and then get them to... I would say like thirty to forty thousand fans which takes it's it's gonna be a couple hundred dollars worth of ads because you're gonna test things, figure out what's cheap, what's you know, what's a good price per like, and then from that you can start promoting posts, building the pan uh, the page up virally, and then sell stuff from within that. Like tell them about uh I have the do these three things, make money every time, capture page from Empower Network, and I send that to different Facebook fan pages I have and get pretty good click-throughs on it. And you can do that with literally any industry, like any type of uh, kind of a generic thing, and then with the ads, just be very specific. Or you can do it, you can test vice versa. I haven't tested the opposite approach, but... What I've been doing is kind of a generic thing with a specific thing inside of it for the ads. And then Thank you. Uh, there's <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I can give you that's useful for that. Um, instead of like a lot of times people who have fan pages will they'll just write they'll write stuff for their status update and they won't show a picture. And pictures get clicked on a lot more than words. Like, if you have a picture of something, people are going to click it, and then they're going to look through the rest of the pictures. So if you have good stuff in those pictures and a relevant message, like somewhat relevant a lot of the time, then you can, you know, turn them into a lead. So it's just kind of balancing out actual, like, content, content, like good Pictures, relevant information could be like motivational things. Uh, for me, like pictures of country scenery works well. And then every like fifth post you make will be an ad. And then just delete it after a day or two so people don't get mad about it. So that's uh, so that's actually, one way that I've been doing this. You actually delete your posts after? I uh, you can go back and edit the uh, the copy. So you could have a picture that says, don't you think this is pretty? And then underneath it, do these three things, make money every time, with a link to the capture page. And the way I look at it, when someone's going through your pictures in like a month from now, they don't want to see an ad on every single post. Because that'll cool. trigger them to unlike the page. For those who are watching this, so by the way... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, for those who are watching, by the way, and um, you're kind of new to this internet marketing world, um, we're, right now we're talking about how to create uh, um, traffic and leads uh, to your capture page, which is where people put their emails, or you can 
if, if you have a website, then that's where you can um, promote for your website as well. So Chris has been talking about creating Facebook fan pages to build that uh, traffic for yourself. And um, so, yeah, sorry, I was just going to, uh, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to have you keep going, Chris, <laughs> on that note. Okay. Um, I guess basically with that, you can, the way I look at you can design your team exactly the way that you want it to be built. Like, and also for, <coughs> excuse me, for things outside of this even, you could, you know, design like-minded communities, and when you build a community, good things happen. Like, you can always provide value to communities. So that's even... And by surrounding yourself with those people, you're, of course, doing a lot of good for your mind, too, because you're you know, putting yourself with people that you want to be around, you are motivated by, you're you know, happy with being around. Awesome. Uh, guys, do you, anybody on the panel, do you guys have any questions for Chris so far in regards of what of the amazing <laughs> strategy that he just shared with us? Um, Alan? Oh, okay, there you go. Uh, well, Chris, I guess uh, what you're doing is a little bit more, um, you know, advanced with the paid, you know, or obviously incorporating sponsored posts. Um, are you mainly doing sponsored posts or are you also, are you actually launching a full-blown pay-per-click campaign uh, with Facebook? Uh, testing both to see which is cheapest in the long run. Like everything with paid media is just running little tests. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like you can do five, ten dollars a day and see where you're getting cheaper likes from and focus your attention on that. Hmm. Like it's just it's it's a lot of tracking. Right. But once it's set up, uh, you can leverage it because you don't have to track it any longer. Like you can just try to beat that ad and get likes for cheaper or get cheaper uh, click-throughs. Yeah, that's awesome. Actually, I think uh, Chris Record, Record uh, did an amazing Facebook training the other day uh, during Super Saturday. So, uh, you know, for those of you, so, so for those of you guys don't, that don't know that we within a team take massive action there uh, recently there was a Super Saturday where many top leaders kind of show you know really full blown secrets uh, to really drive cheap clicks with Facebook traffic so uh, if you want to learn more click the link below you know join our team and obviously you know then you can plug into our training in the back office um, and learn more about you know, this spread for various strategies so I guess That's I'll it. pass it back to M and I guess Chris was playing a little bit <laughs> it's okay he's just you know, living the lifestyle. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, like Alan mentioned, if you want to learn more, make sure you do click on the link below to learn more about how to get uh, really cheap traffic and leads to your website, to your capture page by utilizing this amazing strategy um, because we do offer it in the back office as well. And uh, like Chris says, it's, it's one of the best ways to create um, – Cheap traffic, really, and leads, qualified leads on top of that, because it's, it, you know, it is hard to find qualified leads nowadays. Um, so that being said, Mr. Andrew Shin, do you have any questions for the amazing Chris Hughes? Yeah, I'm creating a fan page myself too. Like, I'm getting like likes through connecting with people and doing some PPC, but I'm not. Getting a mm. lot of like you know the engagement like like you know you get you see the likes and you see like like a number of people like talking about this like how mm. do you put that ratio higher like so people will get engaged actually like putting comments like share and like but yeah I'm not getting enough of that so and then so there's probably a lot a lot of other people who have the fan page okay. happens to that too yeah um. The biggest thing you have to you have to actually be engaged in the community. Like you have to ask relevant questions. Uh, for example, for the country music thing, I'll ask questions like, "Who is your favorite country singer?" And that's going to get a lot of comments. 
and people are going to start arguing over who's better, who's worse, and when that happens, it's, it's more eyeballs on your page. And you can also do things with the actual pictures that you post or videos and tell people what to do. Like, click like on this post if you love this picture. Like, click share uh, if you think this is an important message to share with your friends. And by telling by telling your fans what to do, they're gonna they're gonna probably listen a lot of the time. Like that's what what's happening with mine is uh, people just like to they like to just do what they're told for a lot of the time. To be honest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can also do uh, a. <laughs> it's 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 weird thinking about, but if you tell somebody to click like, they're going to do it, like, because it puts it in their minds so they want to do it. But you can also do a. There's a cool little test that you can run, which gets up likes and shares, and it's having a a picture like side by side, like one half is one particular thing, and the other is like another picture. And it's a uh, click like for X, click share for Y, like, and then you'll see who likes what more, and you can do more posts towards that kind of stuff as well. Oh cool. yeah, I, I haven't I haven't so tried that another... strategy yet, like side by side photo. <laughs> so it's yeah, that works. It working. works well. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So. Guys, uh, basically what you have to do is command people what to do when it comes to the online world, right, Chris? you got to tell them what to do, and they will do it, like clicking the link below, um, like liking your page and commenting. So you got to tell them, you got to direct them um, what to do, the, your readers. Um, next is Tam. Tam, do you have anything to ask um, Chris? Yeah, I just want to reiterate something. I think it's it's awesome that uh, you actually mentioned before the three things that sort of help you got the success that you've got now. One was surround yourself with the right people. Two was you took massive action. Three was going to the events. But I just want to outline that you know mm -hmm. you definitely surrounding yourself with the right people. I mean, uh, before we had a we had a um, sort of a, um, a we we saw right there peeped into the screen before was uh, Arthur Tubman. And he's he's a uh, you know one of the most powerful people in Team Tech Massive Action. And if you're surrounding yourself with somebody like Arthur, I mean, it's really hard for you not to uh, to succeed in this industry. Um, I personally, I've I've used Facebook pages before. Uh, my I, I sort of I'm listening to you guys chat here, and I just sort of don't get it. And so I want to you know I hope you can excuse me for my you know ignorance or, or lack of knowledge right but um, you know so you're so basically you're using uh, Facebook sponsored posts or PPP to get likes for your fan page and then from your fan page mm -hmm. I'm getting that you're posting pictures uh, like you mentioned before with with you know like uh, like like a little ad like um, like like you said uh, what is it like um, do you think this this is pretty? Question mark. And then at the bottom, you you say you know do these three three things and make money every time with a with a link to the capture page. So you're using PPC to get people to like your page, but then you're using the page to get people on your list. Is that uh, is that what what you're doing? Yep. Yeah, it's uh <clears throat> for me. I'm not too good at specifically like doing a pay per click campaign to a capture page directly, and uh, the way I look at it, if I get someone to like something, that gives me a little bit more time to kind of get my offer in front of them. Like the long-term likelihood that they're going to enter their email address, it goes up when they see my offer more. So with pay-per-click, you can see it. They might click through the first time, and then they'll leave the page. Uh, this could happen with you know all types of campaigns. But with the actual Facebook page, the way I look at it, maybe they'll see it one time, they'll click away, they'll see it again, click away, and then one of those times they'll see it and be like, okay, I'm ready for this. And they'll enter their email address or be op more open to you know, the opportunity like, in front of them. Yeah, 
actually, I think so it's, it's kind of paying. It's like right. pay per click for one one initial pay per click for long term views. Like, yeah, I actually like your strategy because with the lead, right? A lot of people capture the lead and they're trying to hammer them with uh, with you know um, an offer, trying to get a sale right there, as opposed to you know. This, these are cold mm -hmm. leads coming into your list. You have to warm them up first. So what you're actually doing is you're not sending them to a capture page, which can scare a lot of people these days. You're getting them to a fan page where they can like it. It's the contents that they love. So you create like a context, you know, around mm -hmm. uh, on this page around the, the, the your audience. And if they, if they like your page, what's happened is every time you post, your post is going to go onto the uh, Facebook wall. And slowly, if you provide enough information, and they get warm to you, and then eventually later on, you can ask them to, you know, uh, sign up to Empower. You can offer them a bonus or something like that. I, I, I think I like that strategy. So you're slowly, you have that time now. You know, they're they're on your, um, your your you and them are connected on Facebook pretty much for the end of time until they come back and they hit the unlike button, right? So you have all this time yep. to sort of for them to get to know you better, like you, and trust you, and eventually buy from you. So that's a, that's pretty that's a pretty brilliant idea. I never thought of it like that way. I've always thought you know going straight to the meat and potato, like send people straight to the capture pages. But uh, awesome, thanks for that. That's that's uh, Hi, great. You're welcome. Thanks. So I guess uh, Tam just had an amazing breakthrough there. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just help somebody just else. <laughs> just look for that one. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, so we last but not least we have Miss uh, Tian Li. Um, do you have anything to ask, Chris? Um, just wanted to thank him for sharing that information because yeah. Um, doing it on Facebook is not something I really thought about <laughs> outside of my friends. So that was really useful information. Thanks, Chris. Um, I just wanted oh, to ask you, when, when you're testing pages, how long do you run the test for? Um, I run, right now I'm running them up to about 10,000 fans. Okay. And it can, it depends on how good your ads are, how much money that's going to cost, like initially. Mm -hmm. You yep. can get lucky, and you know maybe you'll have an ad that does really well, gets you a quick three hundred or thousand people, and then Facebook kind of like the viral effect takes off, where people just start seeing your pictures organically, and you know it scales without you really investing a lot. But other times, I usually go up until about ten thousand, because okay. I feel like that's close to a tipping point where. If people are gonna like it a lot and be willing to share it every single day, like share a video, share an image, then then it's probably worth it. Like sure you'll lose some money some of the pages, but other pages will make up for it. Yeah. And it's just like any type of advertising campaigns you run, some are gonna be winners and some are gonna be losers. Yeah. So I usually do about ten thousand is the the Good number I'm shooting at right now. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's awesome. a good job. Chris, yeah. I want to interrupt for a and, second. Uh, also, uh, one quick question. Uh, you, when, you, when you say that you know you're building fan pages, uh, are you building these fan pages outside of the business opportunity arena? Yep. Wow. Okay. So that was actually that was <laughs> something that I, I was contemplating because most people. You know, create a fan page. They're you know they're they're plugging in the home based business. Join me, join now. But what Chris is doing is he's actually plugging his passion. Uh, like for example, you know, if he likes um, you know uh, singing or entertainment industry, he's actually creating fan pages around those untouched arena. And then that that was actually very very interesting the way that you actually because uh, I always thought that you actually creating pages targeting people in the home based business, but that was. A breakthrough for me now is like you're actually creating outside of that arena and going after the generic people. So that's, that was that was awesome. Thank you for that. 
<laughs> You're welcome. And the, and the best part right here, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Because uh, if if you're building them specifically for make money online, uh, they know what they're getting into, and a lot of the time it's going to be people who are already interested in selling you something. So they're just going to want to post their offer on your page to hopefully get it in front of people. With things that are related, like even if long term you could take the information you learn inside of Empower's trainings and build up a community outside of it for long term sustainable business, but that's a little different. Like you can do that, and then you can also sell Empower through those things. Like you like such and such, maybe you want to make more money from home. Check this out. And it's just it's just kind of eyeballs, just getting people to view it and see who it clicks with. Which that's why for me it's it's cool to be able to build pages around things that I actually like because when I'm, you know, creating content, it's useful stuff. It's things that I like I either laugh about or enjoy. So I'm not spending my time doing stuff that I'm really super bored with because if that was the case I wouldn't do it. That's awesome. awesome. I totally agree with you, Chris. And you know what, guys, it's all about um, turning your passion, whatever you love to do in life, into profit, right? So it's really about utilizing um, the Empower Network as a vehicle to, to do that because that's this is where you can really make your dreams happen. I mean, look at Chris. And he's also on top of that fulfilling his purpose in life and helping everybody here on the panel <laughs> and everybody across the world. Um, is it me or is he kind of frozen, guys? Okay, no, you, you defrosted there. But, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So before we do end um, the, the, the Hangout, we are coming up to close to an hour. I wanted to just go down um, through the panel and see if anybody has their last thoughts. Uh, before we close up. So, um, Tian? Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, Chris, how did you connect with your mentor? Did you um, it was a weird way, actually. Um, my sponsor, Brendan Wenzel, inside of Empower Network, had introduced me to a friend of his that he had met down here in Costa Rica. And it, this was in Orlando, Florida, where I was living at the time. And I just went and hung out with this kid, this one of my new friends, and like honestly, like one of my best friends now. And his father is actually the one who is who became my mentor. He uh, he ran a successful offline business and was starting to scale it into online arena and was looking to he's looking for people who are like good marketers, things like that. And he was willing to kind of help me because I I. Everything he taught me to do, I just took massive action on it and I did it. And it either worked or it didn't. And I showed him, I was like, this worked, this didn't, this worked, this didn't, this didn't, this didn't, this didn't, this worked. And like when when he saw that I was doing that, he he gave me more time. Like he saw that I was taking massive action and doing, you know, what someone was teaching me. Like he makes a lot more money than me, lives lives the life I want when I'm his age. So I had to set aside my ego and just kind of listen to him, which was difficult because it's always hard to do. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. Well, we're just grilling Chris down, aren't we? How are you feeling, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> All my Divas Dark and Secrets are coming out. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but all the secrets revealed from the beach bum of Costa Rica. <laughs> um, so next we have Tam. Tam, do you have any final thoughts before we close down on the Hangout? I, I just think this is awesome that Chris is able to just come in here and, and share you know, bits about his background and, and just some value here I just got here is just uh, is huge, you know? And um, that's very much appreciated, Chris. And um, you know, the, I don't want to. I don't want to grill Chris anymore. You know what I mean? Like, there is no secret. <laughs> Speaking of secrets, he's already I mean, read enough. It all, it all comes love. down to you and how bad you want it, how much action you're going to take. Right? There's a lot of strategies inside of Empower. 
the funny thing is, the thing I love about Empower is that the training is the product and the product is the training. Yesterday, I'll tell you a quick story. I went to the, uh, the bank, your local bank here to drop some money and uh, I saw a friend and he's like, hey, where have you been? You know, I haven't seen you uh, for a while. We go, we go to boxing together. And, um, and I said, oh man, I've been busy, you know, just uh, working on my business online. Uh, going to been to, to Denver a few times. No, sorry, been to Austin, Orlando, and then Chicago. And he's like, "Whoa, what are you doing? How, how do you how can you afford all this to to do all this?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, I made you know last last month you know four to six hundred. It's it's not bad." And he's like, "Wow, that's not bad." And uh, and he um and, and he he wanted to know and he asked me like, "What is it that you're selling online, right?" And I was like, I was like. I was tripping over that that question because I was like, that's a good question. And I tried to explain <laughs> to him that we I'm selling a product that teaches you how to sell teaches you how to market to sell the product. You get it? <laughs> and he was like he was like, What? I was like, Yeah, you know, we, we teach people internet marketing and so you can take the same training and you can go and sell Empower Network products or any other products you want online. Uh, so Technically, you can earn while you learn, and I just think that's a brilliant, you know, idea. It's a brilliant way to make money. So, um, you know, that's all I really want to say. If you, if you're watching right now and you like what you're just hearing, earn while you learn. Uh, definitely click the link below. Get inside of Empower. What Chris is just sharing here is just one of many strategies that are inside the 15K formula, and it's a, the 15K formula is a must if you want to make. Like like the name suggests, 15k plus uh, per month on the internet. So go ahead and do that. And uh, Chris, again, thank you for have for being here. And uh, and uh, Emma, I'll pass it back to you. Awesome. Isn't town just brilliant? I love his accent too. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> when he speaks, I just want to join all over again. Um, <laughs> so next we have. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. What? I uh, said, so here's my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next we have Andrew. Andrew, do you have any final thoughts before uh, we close down? Close so down. yeah, Chris, <laughs> thanks for sharing all the golden nuggets about Facebook and all sorts like how you, and also your background story, like and like li and able to live in the beach of the world in Costa Rica. So do you have any, just can you give us like final advice to the audience like how to be focused on income producing activity because people tend to be like excited and then they just wear it down after like a week or two. So for the next like 60 days until Denver, how can they be focused to able to take massive action until Denver and then eventually be in the beach of the world living the freedom lifestyle? Um, mainly just find one strategy that you like inside of the 15K formula and do it over and over again until you figure out how it works. Like a lot of the time it's just testing things and testing and testing and failing and then eventually you'll succeed. Like the more you fail, the more likely you are to succeed. Like you'll, you, you have to of course learn little improvements, test different things every time. But it's all just taking taking massive action and actually, you know, be willing to lose out on, you know, fail with something for once. Like that's why surfing's fun for me because it's a reminder that I'm horrible at something. It's like okay, you have to get good. You have to relearn a process and do it over and over again until you get good at it. Yeah, I totally agree because I went through a lot of struggle in the beginning. Like I did like vlogging video, like I was trying to do everything. I was trying to be like a generalist. And then it was yeah. it wasn't like really producing anything. So like what you said, like just focus on one or two that you really like from the fifteen K formula. So yeah. so if any of you guys are watching this and don't have the fifteen K formula, like definitely upgrade to fifteen K formula. It's like a must purchase product because it teaches you like all the intermediate and advanced like skills to to able to make money online so if all of us are recommending and then you, all of you guys <laughs> like, all the people <laughs> watching like must get it like it's a must product I, I love like the 15k formula what they have there 
So, so yeah, M. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, so guys, like Chris says, you can't be afraid to to fail when you do try whatever strategies. At the end of the day, you gotta think a bit of it as a feedback. When you do fail on in something, um, take it as a feedback instead, and you'll know the the more ways on um, how to succeed afterwards and not to what not to do, basically. So um, that being said, Alan, do you have anything left? to say. Yeah, actually, well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, thank you, Chris, for the inspiration and the knowledge you shared tonight. Uh, I don't really have a, a question, but I do have a statement, a declaration that I will also, in the, soon, in the very near future, I will also like to buy a, a front property on a, near the beach in Costa Rica so I can also live <laughs> and, and enjoy the beaches of the world. So I'll, hopefully I'll be seeing you there very soon, uh, Chris. And I guess um, yeah. one word I keep hearing over and over again, and also you know from our previous hangout, is the word passion. Um, uh, you know, most people uh, you know coming through this industry, um, they don't realize that they can really turn their passion to profit. And especially with our and partner blog, because you can literally write anything about what you're passionate about, and then drive traffic into these blogs to make sales because within this team within you know we keep saying over and over again is that you know we keep doing three things over and over again to make money is create traffic capture leads and convert sales so it's it's not you know it's it's not hard okay but it's not easy because there is work involved okay like i don't know where you are right now maybe you know, uh, like I don't know exactly where you're standing right now with your skills, but with all the training support and all these amazing people just coming together, joining forces, I mean, uh, it just it just doesn't make sense for you not to succeed if you come in, plug into all the support system and take massive action, uh, and basically that's when you'll be hopefully be like Chris. Uh, that can also live in the beaches of the world. So, so I mean, uh, you know, thanks for the inspiration. I mean, now I know I have something to work towards. So, I'm gonna pass it back to you, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, work hard, and I'm gonna get that you know, property in Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, before we do, um, and I, w I just wanted to give Chris um, the opportunity to give his last words too before uh, we close it down, Chris. Do you have anything left to say? Um, find the things that make you happy and do them every single day. I mean, as simple as that. Build your it's life as around that. As that. <laughs> yeah, build your life around that, and uh, empower is just a—it's a system that'll help you be able to do that more, like to find what you really want to do and be able to do it. Definitely. Guys, if you're listening to this, you know, it, it, a lot of people come online because they're really confused. They don't, they don't know where to start. They don't know what to do, and so it's all like, like, like we kind of. If you guys didn't really get the the nugget here, it's really about your your passion, whatever you love to do in life already. Uh, you don't have to create anything new online. You just got to use what you love to do. Um, if you enjoy it, whether you enjoy cooking, whether you enjoy traveling, whether you enjoy surfing, you know, whether you enjoy barbecuing you can just use that as your content and utilize empower as your vehicle as your as the tool to uh, make profit out of what you love to do so it's really like once again from uh, passion to profit and that's how you'll get to spend more time with love it more time doing what you love in life by utilizing this automated online system so click on the link below if you want to learn some more it's only only five dollars to start and uh, we will see you on the inside so thanks for listening and we'll see you on our next hangout oh I forgot to mention as well tomorrow we have a superstar her name is Layla Black she will be covering on um, video and how to use storytelling to sell so you guys really got to stay tuned and make sure you um, hang out with us tomorrow all right so uh, that being said the hangout is done and we will just see it <laughs>